at it again we have one here from sjw triggered make sure you guys go subscribe to their youtube channel original link will be down below but we got some sjw's once again love checking out these videos uh they're just you know it's always amazing to see some of the npcs that we live amongst you know it's 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 always really entertaining but anyway Make sure you guys hit that like button, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well. And thank you to every single last one of you guys, man, that have just absolutely come through and shared these videos like crazy. I greatly appreciate every single last one of you guys, man. I mean, it's a shame that I even have to say, you know, that I even have to ask you guys to do that because of what's going on, but um, you guys have come through tremendously i mean thank you guys so so much but anyway let's dive in why do white people have a right to affirm their life uh because all whites have value really how how so why does white life have value well i think my for who what no excuse me for who our argument is that white life is wrong why our argument is our argument is that we should never affirm white life that your why, argument of just affirming all life, life in general life? is not good. Especially not good for black people when white life itself is based okay, off why of black people. Why shouldn't we affirm my life? You're probably white. I am white. Why shouldn't we affirm my life? I don't understand why I have to care about your life anyway. It's gonna be There's no ethical reason as to why white people deserve uh, to live. Affirming black life means that means that white death has to occur. That's why uh, you should lose this debate and why your life ain't worth affirming. Can I kill myself like under your arguments? Sure. Okay. Uh, so should I be why? Uh, why? Why should we do that? How does that help? It's ethical. How is it ethical? we all we all have some form or another of privilege. Why does that mean sure. you yourselves? Because you have white privilege. What? Why does having white privilege necessarily mean I should kill myself? Why shouldn't I like struggle against the structures? That sure, struggling against the structure means putting yourself on the line, putting your body on the line. Do it. Affirm yourself. That's cool. Yeah, that's very good. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's it's one little form, it's one little step in the right direction. All right, let's talk about Harvard this. Hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, coach. Time out. Brr. Listen, if nobody else is going to say it, then I will. In the United States of America, as of today, white people do not have freedom of speech. If nobody else is going to say it, then I will. Today, if you were to flip the roles right there, and a white person said exactly what that black guy just said, just obviously replaced, you know, white for black and whatever else to make it make sense, it would be the end of the world. We would see a protest right this very second. People would be out in the streets doing, you know, all types of crazy stuff. But it's okay when a black person says that. Hmm. White people don't have freedom of speech, man. They don't. A white person couldn't say that. And if they did, they'd be canceled to oblivion. To oblivion. Oh, you work a nine to five? We'll say goodbye to it. Oh, you own your own business? We'll say goodbye to it. But a black person, I mean, I, I, I just find that absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Wow. Wow. I, I, I can't believe I even just watched that. Anyway, I guess let's continue on. Sheesh morning shall we be because a, a liberal student there Sandra Cohn has penned a piece which is raising the eyebrows of a number of individuals this morning she had written a piece around the idea that we should get rid of academic freedom in favor of academic justice she is sick and tired there at Harvard of dealing with research that comes out which may counteract her own viewpoints of life. Uh, she can't stand when academic research comes out that doesn't support her liberal ideology. 
<laughs> yeah, she's a she's a Darn senior me. there, and uh, the title of this piece is "The Doctrine of Academic Freedom." Let's give up on academic freedom in favor of justice. She's a women's studies and gender. Uh, uh, equality and, and, and that type of advocate as well. Well, if our university uh, community opposes racism, here's what she says, sexism and heterosexism, why should we put up with research that counters our goals simply in the name of academic freedom? Instead, I would like to propose a more rigorous standard, one of academic... Listen, but, but before she even finishes this foolishness, as uh, Ben Shapiro would say, Facts don't care about your feelings. No, we shouldn't bend and twist the truth to affirm how you think. The fact is a fact, and that will always be that. Sheesh. Justice. When an academic community observes research promoting or justifying oppression, it should ensure that this research does not <laughs> continue. In other words... The truth, when it's inconvenient, should be squelched. There's a name for this. It's called fascism. And what's amazing is this girl is a senior, as you just said. This is the fruit of a Harvard education. After four years at Harvard, you conclude, or she has, that the truth, when inconvenient, ought to be suppressed. If she had absolute power, how many people would die? Many. Well, well what's interesting is that one of the pieces is she talked. It's funny he mentioned that. You know, it, it, it's always amazing. Uh, to check out these videos because the left always accuses the right of what the left is and does. How many times have you have, have we checked out videos where someone on the left is calling someone on the right a fascist? And it's just like, wait, what? No, not even close. And then you then you have statements like that from somebody on the left, and it's just like, does it make any sense? <sighs> about specifically with some research that came out of the university from one professor around and how women this professor said was they should be more modest and that would stem stop because women need to be a little bit more modest she took umbrage with that as i think many people would that it was somehow a woman's fault to be and she said we should rally students should rally and make sure that this professor never gets published at this university again what's wrong wrong with rallying that's what the a university system does what right is, a flea throw of ideas you know, so women system. who who wear sexy lingerie or or wear a short skirt deserve to to have sex taken from them stolen from them uh, doesn't make any sense but I, I will say one thing the way that this that she opens this piece um, is about a Harvard professor back in the 1970s who, who writes a piece called IQ he gets a lot of backlash for it because he says that IQ is based on hereditary almost entirely and it varies by race in particular and, th and there was backlash about it and that's something that 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 should be but this seems ex I mean, just ridiculously extreme to, to get rid of academic freedom and instead have well, academic it's, justice. Again, it's, this is what fascism looks like. I mean, the point of a university of free inquiry is to get to what is true, not to what makes you feel good, not to what's expedient or useful politically in the moment, but to what is absolutely true based on science, the scientific process. That's the right. whole point. Right. And so she's basically not just attacking things that she doesn't like politically, she's attacking the very notion of a liberal education. Right. It's the, scary. The free flow of ideas, you can have disagreement, you can rally and say that you disagree with it, but then to make sure that this per, the professor is never published again by the university press, this academic research is then so The whole point of tenure is, right, we have tenure in college, and the whole point is professors can say things that are unpopular but are true, and this is a safe place for them to do it. And she's basically saying, and I think a lot of people on the left feel this way. What? <laughs> hey, you guys, put down your guns. guns. Hey, you guys, put down your guns. Hey, you guys, put down your guns. Hey, you guys, put down your guns. Man, oh man, do we live amongst a lot of NPCs. Sheesh. Um, that first clip, I mean, we could have ended the video there. <laughs> I mean, honestly, what, like, in what world 
should it be okay for someone to say that and just nobody bats an eye? Once again, white people don't have freedom of speech in this country. It, it, that, that is just absolutely crazy. This guy literally, openly, wow. Um, I mean, obviously that was wrong on all types of levels, but I mean, I don't need to say that. You guys heard it there and saw it for yourselves. Just the, the most ridiculous, one of the most ridiculous clips we have checked out thus far. Absolutely insane. Insane. But anyway. Y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.